I'm in high school. I'm junior in high school. And I'm going to take calculus. Now, if you didn't know, calculus is way different, way more different from algebra than algebra is from arithmetic. Okay? So I'm handed the calculus book, and I open a page in the front cover, and there are these equations. And they're using squiggly lines I had never seen before. Half the Greek alphabet is in there. I said, I don't know what this is. Oh, my, I don't. And I said, I will never learn this. That's what I said. That's what I felt. I said this, but I need to know this because the universe is speaking this language. You say you're bad at math. I bet you're not that bad. And I just want to remind you that there's, when it comes to math, there's no substitute for practice. It sucked for me. It sucks for, I mean, you just have to practice. So when you come to me, you come to me and say, oh, I'm bad at math. I am open-minded, of course, but skeptical. I'll bet you can do it. You love football. I do. You love math. I love math. I just love how clean it is, how, you know, there's a right answer, there's a wrong answer, how if you tell me something, you have to prove it. In football, we know what the goal is. It's, it's to, to win. win. It's yeah. to win. Yeah, that's... What's the goal in that? To understand, to learn, to push forward. That's how I feel in that, this competitive nature. It's me versus this unknown. And when you make the breakthrough and you solve the problem? Best feeling in the world. Best feeling in the world. How much computing did you do whilst you were at Harvard? Well, I played around with computers, but I didn't want to take any of the computer courses there because I felt I'd already learned all that stuff. Uh, in fact, I signed up for one, you know, third-level graduate course, uh, and, you know, I sat down and said, hey, I already know all this stuff. So I was a bit cocky about the computer things. I thought pure mathematics was what was really the cool thing, and it was a big challenge for me because there were so many smart people there in mathematics. Uh, at Harvard, the, the first uh, year, you go into a class which has about 100 people, all of whom have had perfect uh, scores on their math tests. Uh, the, the U.S. has what they call the SAT test. Everybody had an 800, which is the perfect score. And everyone's been the best at their school. And, uh, you know, this is a class of 100 people, so it's kind of intimidating. Uh, some friends and I uh, did pretty well. I was the third in the class, uh, and my friend was, was the best. And then we took an, a, an exam, which is nationwide, uh, which I was in the top 100, but uh, not, not the top. And, and so I love math. When a kid turns on the TV, he or she sees athletes, not mathematicians. They see how desirable it is to be an NFL player or an NBA star. If you have any athletic talent when you're a kid, people will encourage you. I believe it's up to all of us to encourage young people to pursue mathematics, whether as a career or as a tool in whatever they're passionate in, or even as a source of pleasure, the way puzzles are for me. Beyond that, I believe we should identify those who are interested in math, encourage them, and give them opportunities to push themselves and excel, much in the same way people routinely do for young athletes.